Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. Here's another case you can run with a linear module of static simulation but use the large displacement switch. This cube is to move along the surface a measurable distance until it contacts the end of the beam and deforms the structure. There exists something called rigid body motion which means the cube can move as a rigid body without deforming during its travel across the beam. There is no friction, no inertial resistance, and this particular case violates the small displacement assumption. You would see a message such as this, prompting you to turn on the large displacement switch. Here is the large displacement switch shown in the properties of the study. Because of this option, and the ability to apply non-zero fixtures in SOLIDWORKS simulation, you can actually utilize the stepping function of the algorithm to control the displacement of the cube. The distance between the cube and the end of the beam is just under 4 inches. So we'll apply a non-zero fixture on the end of the cube to cause it to move 4 inches. We'll apply a fixture type advanced fixture. Select the face to apply the non-zero fixture. And for reference we'll choose the end face of the beam. And enter 4 inches. We review the fixture in the tree and see that it's captured the setting. When you turn on the large displacement switch, the algorithm moves the cube a small amount, searches for changes in contacting areas, and updates the structure stiffness matrix. Then it moves the cube a little bit more, searches for changes in contacting areas again, and updates the structure stiffness matrix again. It keeps doing this until it gets to the end of the non-zero fixture definition, which is 4 inches. Here are results which are plotted at true scale. This is the vertical displacement. And this is the stress. You can obtain the reaction force from the contacted faces too. In the results folder, choose list result force. Select the contact friction force option. Select the face and then push the update button. In this video, we've shown a valid case you can run with a linear module of static simulation, but use the large displacement option.